Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be building a ladder for my kids playset. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is measure the angle at which you want your ladder to be. You can download a couple apps on your phone. Here's my Protractor app. Got this off the Google store. And this is actually an angle finder. So hold this up to the ladder to find your angle. If you don't have a ladder here set up like we do, then you can just take one of your pieces of wood, kind of situate it where you want to be, where you think your angle should be, and then hold your Protractor up to that. So here we got 66 degrees, 65 degrees is what I'm going to go with. So that's our angle. We know that since this is a right angle, I've got 90 degrees. This angle down here is our 65 degree angle, which means this angle here is 25 degrees. We find the 25 by taking 90 and 65 and then subtracting that number by 180. All right, grab your protractor, lay it out about even, zero it out to about as close as you can get to zero, and then measure from the bottom. That's uh, roughly about 68 inches. So I'm gonna cut this board 68 inches long. Miter saw, set it to 25 degrees, and make her cut. I made my 25 degree cut down here. I laid it up against the, uh, the play set. I cut it a little bit longer up here just so I could uh, kind of measure it and eyeball it and see exactly where I wanted it. So I've got my uh, 66, 65 degree here. So I'm happy with that. So this looks about good right here. I'm gonna make a little mark right there. Take my speed square and then put the pivot point right there. Come out about 25 degrees, right here. Make my mark. And that's approximately where I'm gonna make my cut, my final cut. All right, after we made the final cut for the top here, I wanted to make a 90 degree cut straight down here so it would sit flush against this board. So I just marked it with a pencil and then cut it on my miter saw. So I'm gonna make my steps about 13 inches apart. All right, so we know that these stairs have to be at 25 degree angle because that's what our top and bottom cut are. So we want the stairs to be level. So we had previously marked out 13 inches between stairs. So here's one of the marks. So take your speed square, and here's 25 degrees right here. So to find an angle with one of these, you put your pivot point right there, and then you move this out to 25 degrees. Here's 25 degree. Line that up with the edge of your board, and that's a 25 degree angle. Here's where we need it to be, so I'm just gonna scoot this up here. 25 degrees is right there. Make a line, and that's 25 degrees. And I should have 13 inches between these two guys. Perfect. Alright, I've already cut one of my steps. I got these at uh, 20 inches. So I'm just lining up another one. Mark it. This is just some scrap wood I had laying around. This is the last step. Alright, I'm measuring my support pieces for the steps. That's a sample one I'm using, and I'm just going to cut these at 25 degree angles. I'm going to take the support piece for the step, drill a couple of pilot holes in it so it doesn't sp split this wood when I put my screws into it.
I finished screwing in my support pieces for the steps. Uh, I've got my pilot holes drilled for my steps, three of them for each, for each side. Um, I've got this side done and the other side done over there. So now we're going to start to assemble the stairs. I'm going to use a couple of these big clamps. top and one on the bottom to start out with. All right, I've got my stairs assembled. What I've done is place it where I want it. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, trace around these guys here just mark it all right move these guys out of the way all right so i'm gonna take my drill and my drill three holes right through here those are going to be holes for these long four inch screws and i'm going to screw from this side out into this guy here mm -hmm. 